Oh my god, there's f***ing hundreds of them. Ooh. There's one. Oh. <laughs> What's good boys? Welcome back to another one. Today I'm going to talk about what I think is one of the most overpowered items in Tarkov right now. But first, let's have a little look at what I've been up to. Later. Okay, yeah, see you later. Anyway, yeah, so I spent two years going broke. Halfway through that first year, uh, a friend said to me, uh, Lou, why don't you start doing like YouTube again? I realized no matter how old I am, I'm always gonna like gaming and I just needed to fucking stop being an idiot and just learn how to make videos. And that's basically what I did. And towards the end of last year, like, july i started earning money at the at the start of last wipe the start yeah the start of last wipe was when i started earning money on youtube bitch um and yeah and it wasn't a lot to begin with it definitely wasn't enough to live off of but you know the month started going by and i was like you know what i might i might be able to do this like and the idea of me like being able to do this thing full time started like slipping into my head and i was like Maybe, maybe I can. So it just motivated me to just carry on pushing um, and just fucking just go for it. Lads, I just want to take this opportunity to thank those who have supported me over the last few months. I needed to take a bit of time out from content creation to recover from surgery. Thankfully, everything went well, so I think it's about time we pick things up again. Jambo with a follow as well. Thank you, mate. Where's this geezer that was shooting? We got ourselves a wabbit. He's also got a friend. Uh, Zach Rock with a follow as well. I'm not sure if I said that already, but. Yeah, there's a guy, yeah. Sorry, boys. We need to out of this raid. Very big, juicy raid right here. Nice. As you can probably tell, I'm not level 70 and I don't have Kappa. I'm still running around doing the odd quest here and there, this time focusing on my shotgun kills. And it usually takes me a while to get these done, especially considering the changes to the flea. It makes getting the better shotgun ammo a little bit more tricky these days. So I've opted to use the express buckshot. And to be honest, it's not half bad. There's a man getting shot at. I think he was getting shot at from weather station. Makes this a little more interesting. Okay, this makes it even more interesting. Express Buckshot is getting the job done. It hits different. A bit like the message from today's sponsor. Sneak Energy. 
Sneak is a low calorie, sugar free energy formula with caffeine, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and electrolytes. I'm so happy to announce my partnership with them because this is a brand that I truly love. If you're interested in swapping out your super expensive energy drinks for something a bit healthier for you, I'll leave a link in the top line of the description for you. And remember, code TULU at checkout. All right, back to our story. So I just dropped these two guys around the radio tower spawn and one of them was getting shot at from weather station. Without spending a moment looting, I yeeted my ass towards the enemy. The prospect of more shotgun kills made me hungry. Somebody asked me earlier if I prefer um, Flechette or Express. Definitely steering more towards Express now. The amount of people I've just dropped like today with this. Like my kill death ratio, the only time I've I was a bit beaten up after that scuffle. The shotgun wasn't the most ideal weapon for this range, but I managed to dip into cover and take a propital. This is one of many scenarios you'll see me using this stim. It slowly tops up your HP and gives you painkillers too, allowing me to quickly get back into the action and try get the drop on someone. The fuck is this guy? I knew I had another one. Bro, what just happened there? Hunting players, hello. Anybody there? Those guys might have got the better of me, but that raid was fun regardless. And I was really feeling the shotgun playstyle. Ah. Shots. Shots mean players. Holy shit. That is a suppressed M1A. Oh, fuck, he's running away. Don't run away, bro. Come on, I really want this gear. Oh my god, there's fucking hundreds of them. He's doing it. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. Playing with a shotgun definitely puts you at a disadvantage, but when you have an injector case filled with endless medical solutions, it can certainly help you get out of those sticky situations. For example, I just used a Zagustin to stop my bleeds and a Propital to top my health back up again. Let's touch more on this later though. Is this man gone? If I was him, I'd be flanking to the right. There was only a few places this guy could go to get a good flank on me. I decided to push the spot that I thought he'd be lurking that would also give me a good line of sight on any routes to the bodies. This could go really well for me. I don't know if there's a four man or just a three. It's gotta be somewhere like flanking me. Realistically, I killed his friends over here. By like one of these trees, I think. 
don't know why he would flank all the way down though. Would he do that? I don't know why he went that way. That was not the right way to go, but thanks for running straight into me and dying. I really appreciate that, mate. That was a bit close for comfort, but I'll take it. He just dumped a firm or something. Rest in peace. All right, time to start looting the other bodies. They weren't in a particularly ideal location either, so I had to be quick about it. Fucking juiced. Shotgun quest can wait. Time to be juiced. Uh, that's a very big suppressor. What the fuck is this? Oh, a TV. Chonking up to 60 kg already. It was time for a mule sim. Put his gazelle on it, has more points. Roger that. The game moves right there. Ho ho! We are juicing. Did I not just pop a mule sim? Fucking hell, I'm 60 kg, bro. This is the most stacked I've ever been all wipe. I'd overstayed my welcome and it was time to get out of this raid. Thankfully for me, I had a couple more stims in my pocket. Do we have any SJ6s? We do. All right, I'm just fucking gassing it, mate. As much as I love the injector case, I think it's ridiculously overpowered. 16 slots is just too much. I struggle to think what else I can actually fill it with. What fucking raid that was? <laughs> Gamers. My stash was getting full, so I decided to run this mutant back into a raid. Since Shoreline was good to me, I thought I'd give it a try again. Why did he just not shoot me? Did he not have a mag in his gun or something? What a gamer. BP just drops people so quick, chat. It's ridiculous. Mm, I'm going to pop a mule stim. You have to admit, we're spoilt for choice with stims right now. Reducing the amount of slots in the ejector case would force us to prioritise certain stims over others, meaning there'd be less people walking around with an entire hospital supply in their secure container. This is a balance I'd love to see. I'm going to absolutely... <clears throat> Millennium Falconer into the fucking resort. Oh, yeah. Hello, bro. Are you friendly, bro? Another one. I was convinced there was another PMC close by, so I pushed up close, expecting someone else to pop out and contest roof. Alright, well, this got interesting. I'm gonna push and die here, this is the problem, but.
Hello, bro. No need to hide in the rooms, bro. I know where you are, bro. It's all about mind warfare, chat. Right. Oh, this is rough. Quest item, don't I? Fucking hell, this guy was gaming. Fuck is all this loot, mate? This guy was actually chatting. Wow. Okay, that's, uh, that's a lot of BP ammo, though. Why don't I just wear his rig? This makes sense. Alright. How long's left on our mule stem? Alright, no problem. This is what we do. Do that. We do that. Again, I juiced myself up on stims, ready to make a hasty escape. After I grab my quest item, that is. Fuck that. I'm not on painkillers. That's hilarious. Not exactly the most stylish exit, but it worked, I guess. I held up my broken feet and dragged all the loot to the extract. Somehow, I'd managed to keep a hold of this mutant for a few more raids. I love it when a story develops around a gun like this. It started on Shoreline in the hands of a random chad and ended on customs. Sort of. Honestly, I don't actually know what happens to this gun in the end. I just wanted to show you this clip of me being a bit of a chimp. See, this is what's spooky is I've been here and this has apparently all been looted. Uh, there's a guy here. No! Ah! Hello, bro. Do you want to do this the easy way or the hard way? Tell me. I'm sorry about that one, Timmy. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you enjoyed, let me know down in the comments and drop me a follow on Twitch. Join me next time when I show off the importance of a well-timed shot. No way, I just hit that. Oh, I'm insane.